So we have five potential conclusions. One is that the Sony camera, rather I got a typo in there, and it should be is, is magical. But that just sounds kind of weird. Number two, I was at the only level or flat part of the ocean. That's just ridiculous. So the ocean became flat in level only on my days of observation. I, I don't know what else to say to that. I'm lying. Go test it for yourself. Boy, do I have some pictures to show you. Curbless Earth, I, I feel like maybe I have given you a bit of a bad rap. I mean, after all, you made this video where you very painstakingly detailed everything you did for your experiment on a distant object, and then I came along and just dismissed it without really taking the time to look at every step in detail. And someone like you, someone so wholesome, someone so honest like you, you, you would never lie to us. You would never try to deceive us. You would never fake results in order to fit an agenda, would you? So I'm pretty sure you won't mind if I take a look at your experiment, step at a time, look into the details of your experiment, just to make sure that you are being the honest character that you say you are. All right, why don't we start by finding the leaky building? Oh, there it is. Perfect. All right, next, let's see. You say you could see it from four miles away. All right. Oh, you gave me the coordinates. Let's let's go find this spot. Oh, that 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 looks nothing. That looks nothing like like your picture, huh? Um, uh, maybe maybe if we we walk up the beach a little bit. Oh oh, there it is. That's that's a bit like it. That's hmm. That's weird. Hey, um, hey Red, uh, what, what happened here? Okay, so I've been to all of these spots, and, uh, yeah, they're not where he says they are. And that goes for each and every single one of them. I went to their actual locations, and they were a lot closer than what he's letting on to believe. So my conclusion is that he is a lying cocksucker who should be fucked with a rake? There's the Aliki. Wait, what? No, Curbless Earth would never lie. I mean, just, just look at that face. That there is a face I don't want to punch. He, he'd never lie. I'm lying. What? No. I'm lying. Of course you did. Of course you fucking lied. You're in the Flat Earth Movement. The Flat Earth Movement's foundation is nothing more than ignorance and stupidity, both of which have a pretty good cure. We can teach you, and we can give you knowledge. However, it is maintained by lies, from stupid laser experiments to this crap that you are pulling here. But I'll get more into that in a bit. First, let's take a look at how you lied. Kurtless Earth provides us with five images, each one getting closer and closer to the leaky building. With each image that he gives us, he gives us a set of coordinates where he claims that he took the picture from. The first picture we've already talked about, we've already seen that we can find the leaky building, and it's from there on that things start getting interesting. The next picture, we can clearly see that using the coordinates that he has given us, which by the way, you dumb fuck, making them that fucking small does not make it very easy to know if you're telling the truth. My guess is that you didn't actually want us to check it out because fucking, how do you fucking read that? This, this right here is how you make a number appear on a screen so that, you know, everyone can read it. But moving on. This first picture, this is his claim spot. And as you can clearly see, it looks nothing like what he gave us. Simply walking down the beach a little bit, 0.4 miles to be precise, we get to a location that looks an awful lot like the picture that Curbless Earth gave us. You'll notice this building here on the right with a chimney, superimposing the two pictures on top of each other, and you can see that we have found 
the actual spot where he took this picture. And this actual spot is almost a half a mile closer to the building than he claimed it to be. Now things get worse as we go further back. Going back to the very beginning of his pictures, the picture that he claims started it all. A picture where he claims that he is 13 miles away from the Aliki, we find that going to his location gets us this. Right away, you'll notice how few buildings there are on the right, especially compared to the picture that he gave us. In his picture, we have a nice row of buildings on our right, which have magically disappeared when we actually go to the location that he gave us. So, Let's walk down the beach a little bit and see if we can actually find where he took this picture. A little bit of walking and we find this. You'll notice this white building here with a chimney, followed by this shorter building and then a yellow building with a bit of a decoration slash chimney at the top. That is a perfect match to the picture that he gave us. And now this little jaunt that we took down the beach, this wasn't a half a mile away. This wasn't a mile away. This is three miles away, which means the curveless earth had claimed that he was 13.4 miles when in fact he was 10.4 miles. When curveless earth shows you this map, it is nothing but falsehoods. The actual map should look like this. Curbless Earth is so crap at lying that you don't even have to go to Florida to see this. Just entering the coordinates into Google Maps and going into Street View will easily let you prove this to yourself. But we went the extra mile and Red actually went to St. Augustine Beach, and he took pictures so that none of you assholes can say that we haven't tried this ourselves. Bitches, look. To make your life easier, and if you want to go test this out yourself, you will find in the description a Google Doc that has both the claimed coordinates that Curbless Earth gave us and the coordinates of the actual spots, the spots where Red went out and took pictures and the spots where you can go on Google Maps to see what it should look like. Any way you look at it, this fucker was so insecure in his own model, that the only way that he could find to defend it was to lie about it. This is the very definition of being dishonest. Curbless Earth, you are a dishonest piece of slimy shit. Now here's how I feel this happened. Curveless Earth went and took his picture. Then he sat around and did his stupid 8 inches per mile formula and found that he could actually still see, even according to his formula, quite a bit of the building. And this disagreed with Curveless Earth because Curveless Earth, that fucker has an agenda and he is going to fulfill his agenda no matter what. So he decided that instead of being 10 miles away like he actually was, he was going to say that he was going to be 13 miles away so that his 8 inches per mile formula would give him a result that he wanted. You have gone out of your way to fake an experiment. This, if it were in the actual scientific community, would ruin you for the rest of your fucking life. This is the depth to which flat earthers must sink in order to keep their stupid model afloat. At 10 miles away, using the earth curvature calculator, we find out that the building should be hidden by about 30 feet. 
the building being in a height of 157, like you stated, that means that roughly 127 feet should still be visible. Something that even you noticed. So, but what we can actually see very clearly is a is at least 110 feet of the building, approximately 70 percent. Um, so you noticed that a lot of the building could be visible, but if you just fudge the numbers just enough, you can pretend, and you can lie to yourself, and you can lie to all of the stupid people who have subscribed to you and tell them so that they can feel better in their little echo chamber that this building should be hidden by Earth's curvature. Now this shouldn't surprise me. We have caught flat earthers lying in the past. We have seen them do stupid experiments. But the fun part about all of it is, is this asshole's smug face. This asshole's paid troll list. This asshole's self-aggrandizing attitude. This asshole, this lying, slimy son of a bitch, pretends to have more integrity than the rest of us. Making it all that much more satisfying to have him caught lying so blatantly. So, Curveless Earth, you can fucking hide in your little echo chamber that you've created. Protect yourself from all us paid trolls that are out to get you with our fucking facts. But at the end of the day, it was two Globe Earthers that are on your stupid paid troll list that sat down and figured out how much of a dishonest piece of shit you are. Now I could sit here and keep insulting you all day long and trust me, it would be satisfying. But I think that Red's rhetoric has perfectly encapsulated everything that needs to be said about you. I've been walking down the beach now all fucking day Because a stupid dumb fuck is wrong, I must say He thinks the earth is flat and teaches his kids this bullshit for the sake of his children, I hope he fucking quits. Oh, I've been walking down the beach now all fucking day. And if it were up to me, his kids would be taken away. There is just no excuse for mental child abuse. But since this is the case, Fuck him with a rake. <laughs>